Back with Bobby and JJ Radio. Today we're speaking with C. Leroy Cavazos that works with the San Antonio Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. He is educating us and the entire public right now of everything that's happening in the city, state, county, and, and national level. If you missed any of the two interviews that we just had with them, they're very educational and they're very important. If you missed any of it, do not cry. You go to BobbyandJJRadio.com. Be a fan of our show. We are here Sundays at 10 a.m. If you miss us, you can catch us on SoundCloud on Mondays. And if you want to see his very good-looking face, we're also videoing this, and he will be on YouTube in about a week or so. So go to BobbyandJJRadio.com. Be a fan of the show. You'll get all that information. So now, back to C. Leroy. We heard about this event called Business Connect 2015. Let's talk about that a little bit. What is it, and, and how can people get involved? So our 2015 Business Connect event was something that was unveiled at our 86th annual gala that was obviously highlighted and keynoted by Texas Governor Greg Abbott. And Al Aguilar, our chairman of the board, president, CEO, founder of Creative Civilization, one of the largest Hispanic advertising agencies in the state and in this country, quite frankly, had this vision of how do we build connectivity for small businesses to do business with corporate entities and public Public entities. Um, for about the last six years, the Hispanic Chamber has hosted the Max Navarro Small Business Summit. And so this is kind of a new, more innovative spinoff off of that summit. Um, Max Navarro obviously is a tier one supplier to Toyota in town, owns Optech Solutions and has always been a big champion of small business. And so Business Connect, we hired a San Antonio firm that was here in San Antonio called My Business Matches, owned by a gentleman by the name of Jeff Vigil. He's been doing Doing business in San Antonio for 15 years, but My Business Matches has never put on an event in San Antonio. So we are the first program or, 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 or My Business Matches event in San Antonio. Right. Mr. Vigila and his company do business in over 50 countries across the world where they take business owners and match them up through technology, through a, an integrated system on how what RFPs fit what companies. So that's what we're going to be doing in San Antonio on November 3rd at the Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center. It's going to be an all-day event and I suggest that everybody go to our website, www sahcc.org backslash business connect and sign up your business to be matched with big public entities or corporate entities to see if there's any RFPs out there that your business can leverage from. And I also... Uh, I also suggest that large corporations, that their procurement people take the corporate responsibility angle at this and go register at the same website um, and be buyers at this event because we need corporate and public sector agencies to be the buyers to meet with our small businesses. Obviously, we're already promoting. We have a lot of partners. We did this. The Hispanic Chamber is presenting 2015 Business Connect in collaboration with La Asociación de Empresarios Mexicanos, the San Antonio Chamber of Commerce, San Antonio Economic Development Foundation, the Small Business Administration here in San Antonio and at a federal level, Bear County and the city of San Antonio, of course, is providing the Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center. So we're we're trying to, to be inclusive of everybody and take a citywide approach at this. We didn't want it just, just to be a Hispanic Chamber event because that's what this is about. This is about inclusion. This is about bringing people to the table. I want to highlight also that it is a free event. It's open to the public. You do not need need to be a member of any of the respective partners that I just mentioned or of the Hispanic Chamber to participate in this event. If anything, this is where we're going to use this event to bring in more membership to our respective organizations, but membership that matters, membership that will make your business grow, membership that will give you leverage and advocacy, membership that will bring you RFPs, requests for proposals, and that will generate contracts, not just contacts for you. So that's kind of in a nutshell show what 2015 Business Connect is about. There's a lot of synergy around it. We're less than 80 days away from the event. So uh, so you're saying the small business should be there because, because of this, because they're going to have buyers there. They're going to have, the buyers will be there and they will be pre-vetted so you will be pre-matched with these buyers. So like buyers. Match.com for businesses and corporations. Pretty much. That's gotcha. a great Perfect. way of putting it. Can you All tell right. us other important reasons why a small business should be there? Well, a small business needs to be there because it'll give them leverage. It'll introduce them. Aside also, I think uh, a lot of small businesses may not be set up yet to maybe do business with large agencies or large corporate companies. HEB, one of our first sponsors, is... is uh, 
hosting the 2015 Business Connect Educational Resource Center during 2015 Business Connect. And at the Educational Resource Center, you're going to be able to get certified to do business with public entities. You'll get marketing advice from Hispanic Chamber and other members that are involved in the event. You'll be able to learn how to get on the federal government GSA schedule if you're interested in doing federal contracting. So there will also be a lane for businesses who aren't set up to already do business with big corporate entities or public agencies to learn how to take those steps and begin to prepare your business for the next for the next era of your business success, which these certifications, we want to promote them because it's important. They they provide different different angles of the way you can do business and leverage different public and private dollars for your business. Quick takeaway, Leroy, see Leroy, uh, what are some of the other large corporations that will be there? Some of the large corporations that have jumped on board are J.P. Morgan Chase. They're already a sponsor. They're actually our social media engagement sponsor. Our VP of communications, Michael A. Vela, is very good about promoting everything on social media. So social media engagement has always been very important for J.P. Morgan Chase. H-E-B, uh, we expect to have other agencies in town like Tesoro, Valero, uh, Frost Bank, um, all the major ones that are in town. H-E-B will always I'll obviously be there with their procurement people. And then some of the, the public entities will be Bear County, um, uh, saw CPS via university health systems, all the major ones that buy commodities, construction, or professional services. And our goal is to have as much business done locally in San Antonio and with minority women and veteran owned firms. See, Leroy, thank you so much for taking over our show for these first three uh, interviews and just going off on the professional that you are and you're so knowledgeable. I appreciate your time. If you want to get a hold of Leroy, go to Leroy, or you can email him, LeroyC at SAHCC.org or go to SAHCC.org for the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce.